Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One more time, welcome to the last podcast on our series of teaching on more victory over sin. Praise the Lord. This is our second week and this is the conclusion of the series that we've been running. Now, we left over, we left off from that first John 10 where we talk about more practical, we will talk about the example of the old man that sins and we have seen the, the the new identity which cannot sin because of the dna and uh, i showed us that we should not mix it up hallelujah wanting to have sex is god's nature which you saw in adam and uh, the purpose is to procreate praise the lord that is what god has ordained doing what god has ordained is god's nature now uh adam had sex with eve before they sinned in chapter three and then adamic nature came in by from sinning okay now from that place it changed but as told us in that romance is that genesis 2 23 to 25 adam said this is the bone of my bone he knew it he was not instructed because he has the nature of god uh, and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh and they were not naked that the man and his wife and were not ashamed why because they have the nature of god so it's god's nature to, to want to have sex and to have sex with your wife get it right with your wife now why i'm bringing that is this it is not don't think that it's 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 adamic nature that is manifesting in you now this is where you know the adamic nature. the adamic nature wants to do it with the wrong person adam did not want to have sex with the donkey nor with the horse or not with the with the dog if adam did then that wouldn't be god's nature but the moment adam sinned in chapter 3 adam's nature changed the dna changed now we can now look at a closer good example of that the perverted sex life which is no longer god's nature which is now adamic the perverted sex nature the perverted one now look at it in romans 1 26 to 27. he said for this cause god gave them up onto vile affections that is no longer god's nature when your sexual life becomes vile affections then it means that the old man the old man is the one that is now want to be manifesting in you look at that for this cause god gave them up into vile affections onto vile onto vile affections do you see now so you see so you should, you should understand when the god nature in you switched over to adamic nature or the adamic nature in you wants to switch over and switch off god's nature in you do you get what i'm talking about now and the bible says for this cause god gave them up unto vile affection what is it like for even their women did change the natural use look at that language natural use natural use is god's nature natural use is god's nature for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature the moment it's not against nature what do you say it is now it is not adamic nature it's not adamic nature this is so i i just wanted to balance it it's not adamic nature it's it's very broad i can't give all the examples in the world you probably know your own you probably know oh uh, probably your own is gossip probably your own is a uh, what's it called is a babiting your own is a uh, is murderer your own is a uh, some people's let me tell you some people's own nature is that when they buy a new shoe they want to display it for people to see when they buy a new car they even go on facebook they will they will showcase the car they will show the engine of the car they will show, show the inside of the car the questions are why are you doing that it's not 
the DNA of God. It's the DNA of the devil. It's the DNA of the devil. Just want to show off. Just want to provoke people who don't have to do anything to get it. It's the DNA of the devil. Some Christians still manifest that. But do you know what? They never saw anything wrong in it. They are, you may not look at it as sin. Yes, they are not sinning. But do you know what? But they are manifesting the DNA of the devil. It's the old man in them that is still manifesting like that. If you probably find out, when they were unbeliever, they were like that. When they were unbeliever, they were like that. So when they got born again and God blessed them with a new house, they snapped the picture, the toilet, the bedroom, the bedroom, the wardrobe, and showed the whole world to see it. Remember a king who did that in the Old Testament. You know what he, he ended up with. God said, because you have shown it to the Assyrians, they are coming to pack all. That is meaning that what you did is Adamic in nature. It is not God's nature. It's not God's nature. So when you see Christians who show up on Facebook, who do display on Facebook, the purpose of this is not to win the soul. It's not to win souls. Though. The purpose of it is just to let people also know that they too they have arrived. It is Adamic nature. It is the old man that is still manifesting in them. It's still the old man that is manifesting in them. The, the new identity in Christ doesn't, won't do that. The new identity in Christ won't do that. Hallelujah. But the old man in them wants to do that. That's why you've noticed, even before they got saved, they were like that. So now that they are saved, they did not know that the old man is dead. And they must reckon that the old man is dead and allow him to stay dead. So even if you feel like showing off, don't show off because that was the DNA of the devil. Don't show off. Reject it, refuse it. Hallelujah. And that's what I'm going to be talking from Monday on a new series. Are you hearing me now? Which I call sin, the slave driver. So the Bible says, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. It's not. A believer showing off, want everybody to know, just for people to know, not because you want to win souls, is their own nature. Before they got saved, they were doing that. Now that they are saved, they are still doing it. In other words, they have not allowed the old man to stay dead. So what do you do? Refuse to allow it to happen. Just do contrary. And when it wants to come up in you, keep telling yourself, it's no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. It's no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. It's no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. The same you claim, by stripe you are here. The same you say, I know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. When it comes to the old man, also want to manifest the old nature, just keep shouting it. It's no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. The, the life that I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who lost me and died for me. It happened through the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ. The old man wants to manifest himself again. Are you hearing me now? Let me tell you, why do you want to show people the new shoe you just bought? Why do you want to show people the new house you just bought on Facebook? Why do you want to show people the new car you just bought on Facebook? Showing the inside of the car. Giving them the details that they don't know about the car. On Facebook, what is the essence? To tell them that God bless you? No. There are people who have better one that you have. You don't even know that they exist. You remember the prophet Elijah also manifested it. In prayer, he went and told God, in prayer manifesting the old man. He said, I'm the only one who loves God and who, have, who, 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 who still loves God. Other people have run away. God said, it's a lie. He said, there are still 7,000 that I've kept to myself. Listen to me, when you are displaying your shoe, some people's shoe is five times the price of your own shoe. It's just, 
Do you know what you are doing? It's just the old man that is making you to do what you are doing. And do you know what it, did, what it does? It brings envy into the body of Christ. It brings competition into the body of Christ. It brings fight into the body of Christ because they are the manifestation of the old man. Hatred, Cain and Abel, remember that. Good, because I have to start running up. Now hear this, it says, like, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, born in their lust, one towards another. You see, when Adam was having the nature of God, he did not want to have sex with donkey. He did not want to have sex with horse. He did not want to have sex with dog. He, 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 he was under control. But the moment Eve came, he grabbed Eve and had sex with Eve. That was the nature of God. Today, men have sex with animals. What do you call it? Against the natural use. That is the old man manifesting in men. The new identity in Christ will never allow us to do that. The, ne the new identity I have in Christ, look at it, it for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women, the, our women, born again Christian women, will not change their natural use into that which is against nature. They will not. Why? Because it is not in their DNA. Even they were, if they were lesbian before they got saved, when they got saved, they will not want to do it because the DNA have changed. And if men also are homosexual, in verse 27, they will not want to continue as homosexual because their DNA have changed. Did you see that? So you see, that is how to know the nature of God and the nature of the devil. The DNA of God and the DNA of the devil. Hallelujah. So you see, so, so the old, old man is dead. The old man is dead. And we must allow it to stay dead. Are you still there? The old man is dead, allow it to stay dead. Now, when the old man wants to manifest himself through you, just simply tell the old man, it's no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. The life that I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loves me and gave his life for me. The same way you claim by his stripe you are here. The same way you claim I know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You also claim scriptures based on what the dead, the better, and the resurrection of Christ have done for you in Romans 6, 1 to 14. So as for me, it's been a long series and I want to thank you for hanging in there. Listen to me, we are not going to continue in the sin nature so that we'll be enjoying the grace of God. No, the sin nature is dead. God has given us a new grace and that is what we're going to be seeing more again from verse 15 where Paul says, shall we sin so that because we are not under the law. So he said, sin, shall not, sin nature shall not have dominion over you because you are not under the law. Hallelujah. So thank you so much. By next week, we start another series which I call Sin, the Slave Driver, which is the second part of that Romans chapter 14. And it's very essential that you watch that with me because it will help you to iron out all other things you need to iron out. From me here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I will see you in our Monday podcast. God bless you.